Hello everyone, welcome back to Seggy Pocket. Today I want to go ahead and test the $300 budget system that I built a uh, few weeks back. And I want to test it in a new game, Star Wars Battlefront 2. As we all know, Star Wars Battlefront EA, the first game, was a very, very well optimized game. I could run it on ultra settings on my FX 6300 and 1050 Ti in 1080p and I would get way over 60 FPS. That is, with a little bit of micro stutter. So, the Battlefront 2 has been released a few months ago, and I haven't got any time to try it out. Now, on this new $300 system, I want to go ahead and give it a try and see if EA managed to optimize their systems, or their games rather, a little bit more. If you want to see the complete benchmarks for this system, I'll have that link down below, but here are the system specs just for reference. It has an i7-2600 non-K, 21GB uh, of 1333MHz HyperX Fury RAM, or rather a uh, mix of RAM, two 320GB HDDs, 120GB of SSD storage, a 1TB HDD, and a GTX 1050Ti. Once again, for full details on the benchmarks of this PC, that'll be linked, linked below, but for now, here are the Battlefront 2 benchmarks. Just for fun, I'm going to start off with the Battlefront 1 benchmarks, just to give you guys a quick reference. One thing I have to note is that I did notice stuttering on ultra and high settings, but after lowering it to medium, it went away. All these are measured in FPS. And as you can see, when I have it set to Ultra on 1080p, we averaged 119 frames per second, our .1 was 71, and our .01 was 55. Bringing that down to high didn't really help much. Bringing that down to medium made slight improvements, and bringing that down to low did absolutely nothing. Moving on to Battlefront 2 now, once again I noticed stuttering on ultra settings, but lowering it to high settings did make it go away. As you can see here in ultra settings, we once again managed around the same average 0.1 and 0.01 percents, but you can see once I lowered it to high, it definitely improved. Lowering that to medium made it improve a lot more, and lowering that to low gives us almost 200 average frames per second. So as you can see in the Battlefront 2 benchmark, you can see that EA is definitely improving the optimization of this game to make it run better on lower specs and higher specs to get more FPS and less stuttering. And as our last benchmark, just for fun, I didn't notice any stuttering this game. Grid 2 on Ultra 1080p, we averaged around the same FPS. So there you go guys, can an i7-2600 non-K with a GTX 1050 Ti work out and play Battlefront 2 on Ultra Settings 1080p? It definitely can. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, it didn't help you or something, give it a thumbs down, I don't know. Subscribe because I need more subscribers, and thanks for watching.